Welcome back, Odoers. Ready for some more fun with VoIP? Conference calls help you connect with multiple employees at once, quickly, and efficiently, so that you can talk shop and knock out big meetings in a jiffy. Odovoip makes it this quick and easy. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to configure everything through a provider called Axavox as an example. But as I keep saying, your screen may look a bit different, depending on what provider you're using. So let's hop in. So here I am on the Axavox admin portal. Now, to get started, I'm going to click on Conferences on the left-hand side over here. And aptly, we're going to select Add a Conference. All right, time for a name. I'm going to create a new conference line for our sales team to use. So I'm going to be super creative and name it Sales. Now, the internal extension is what everyone in our network will use to quickly dial into the conference call instead of typing the whole phone number. So I'm going to type in 505 because that's like a really good number. Then up next, I can actually set an access code if I want to, like 12345. Got to make it easy for everyone to remember because this is a password to get into the conference once that you dial this number. Now, underneath administrator extension, I can choose the admin that's in charge of this conference call line. I'm going to choose myself from the drop down, as you should. Finally, I can pick yes or no for this last option, both a no and a yes from this drop down. And that's the wait for the administrator to start the conference. I'm going to select no because I want participants to be able to use the line inside of my absence. So make sure you remember that. And that way they can get out all of their criticisms of the boss before I get there as well. Lastly, we're going to hit save. And one more step, remember to hit apply changes just because you want to apply them. Now, once that that's all done, I can actually see right there, my conference line has been added. I can also edit or delete it if I wanted to. All right, next, let's go into the incoming numbers section on the left-hand side over here. And I'm going to look for the one that ends in 6544. And we're going to hit edit on this one. Now, there's a good reason for this. I need to choose a number to use for this conference line. And I, this is the one that I want. So underneath the destination type of call over here, I want to actually choose something else. I'm going to choose conference. And then it's going to ask you for a conference. And we're going to select our sales one that we just created. And then once that we're done, don't forget to save. And once again, apply. And it's almost showtime. Now, once that we're all done, let's go back over here to conferences. It's finally all set up. Now external users just need to call the phone number just to get inside of the conference. And internal users just need to dial the extension of 505 that we set up. Everyone will actually need to add the access code in to enter as well. Now to manually add someone to the call, I can actually click this orange invite button over here. Don't forget as well to add that country code as I always talk about it. Now once that I click that invite button, their phone will start ringing and they'll just need to pick up and enter the call. People who join the call will appear in the connected users column that we have over here as we saw prior. All right. It's time to hop in and I'm going to show you what this looks like. So thanks to Movie Magic, we're over here at Odoo's site and I'm going to head over to my VoIP application because I need to show you how to connect to that call. Click on the little dial pad in the bottom left and it's time to hop on in there. Now, I actually just need to type in 505 because remember, internal connections only have to use the shortcut. So now I can click the phone button just to get started and immediately I need to enter my access code. So I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, five, followed by this sign right there. And I'm led into the call. Now to expedite the process, it's why I typed in the pound sign after the pin, just so that I didn't have to wait for the little robot to do it. Now back over here inside of the Axivox conference page, all I have to do is click on refresh right here above connected users. And would you look at that? I can see my number show up under connected users. The call is on. We can also use conferences and dial plans, so be sure to check out those videos as well for more info. And that's it for this video. For more on VoIP, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. Go grab a snack.